you know, Russ's comments set the tone for today. You know, and it's important to you know, come together and, and share your stories, you know, learn how you know, to overcome those challenges. Um, and and you know, that's why, honestly, I love being the mayor of a great city like Santa Clarita. Uh, because we don't, we do not run from the issues our community faces. Uh, whether it be domestic violence or drug use amongst in our community, you know, we're not afraid to step up and say, you know, Santa Clarita is a community that has problems, has challenges, like just like any other. But what sets us apart is our willingness to step up and to tackle those issues and to do that as a community. Uh, and that's what makes me proud. And I can tell you, I, I've. I've been to cities all across California. You know, in a previous life, I, I served as the chairperson for the uh, State Assembly Local Government Committee, and I saw what other cities faced and the challenges. And some cities tackled them, some didn't. But Santa Clarita was always a city that you could hold up uh, as a model for, for one that is willing to acknowledge our challenges and a willingness to step in. Uh, and for this, to not become bystanders, you know, bystanders, uh, but actually to be, I don't know if this is a word, to be upstanders, you know, that we're going to step in and, and not, not shy away. Um, as I know, you know, many of you probably know some of these statistics, but uh, it really is shocking when you read uh, that the, according to the CDC, uh, an average of 24 people per minute are victims of rape, physical violence, or stalking by an intimate partner here in the United States. And so that calculates to more than 12 million women and men over the course of a year. On average, one in four women and one in seven men aged 18 and older have been the victim of severe physical violence by an intimate partner in their lifetime. You know, and that's, you know, and it speaks to his, his, you know, Russ's story and many of them, the story of, of domestic violence, that, that that's occurring in your home. You know, your home that's supposed to be your sanctuary. You know, those of us that are parents, you know, we, you know, that have multiple kids, right? You tell them, you know, you, you know, what, it's hard enough at school. It's hard enough, you know, day-to-day -day life. You know, when you come home, you, you know, this is where you feel safe. You know, with your siblings, with your parents, your grandparents. You know, the, and to hear those type of statistics and how many, you know, men and women and certainly children you know, do not have that feeling of, of safety uh, at home. You know, as Russ said, his sanctuary was the movie theater. I mean, that's, it, it's, you know, it, it's hard to even fathom that those are the things that people face on a daily basis. And as we said, you know, Santa Clarita isn't immune. You know, yes, we are consistently ranked as one of the safest cities in the country, uh, and we take great pride in that. But, you know, in 2015, uh, Santa Clarita saw a unprecedented 11 homicides during that year. And, and, you know, and that, is a, that was a 600% increase uh, from any other year previously. And a majority of those homicides were a result of domestic violence. Uh, and and you know, as we talk about you know, that spike, you know, led to the city you know, to become more involved and to create our divert program. Uh, which stands for Domestic Intervention Violence Education and Resource Team. Uh, and, and so, you know, if you want more information on the city side, you know, that's certainly on, uh, you know, on our website. Um, and I want to thank our, uh, our partners, you know, at the Domestic Violence Center, you know, for not only their, you know, their treatment of, of the victims, but also, as we talked about, the, the families and the kids. You know, you know, kids that go to school with our kids. You know, if they're, if they're not victims themselves, they are certainly witnesses to it in every school. And that serves as a, you know, obviously very traumatizing you know, childhood. Uh, you know, it leads to issues of, you know, that falls into these other issues, whether it be, you know, drug use or homelessness, uh, you know, issues that we're tackling uh, as, uh, as a community. Uh, and so I just wanted to, again, thank you and welcome you all uh, for being here. Um, and, you know, again, while as the mayor, I, you know, sometimes, you know, the awards and the recognition comes to the city. But I will tell you, I know firsthand 
you know, that the work that makes Santa Clarita you know, one of the best cities you know, in the country is not always done at City Hall. You know, it's done here and events like this where people who love this community, care about your community, love your neighbors, you know, are willing to tackle these tough issues. And I want to thank you very much for taking your time on a Friday morning uh, to be here and, and to say that, uh, you know, Santa Clarita, we know we have challenges, uh, but we handle them differently than others. And that's why, you know, we're going to be, you know, we're going to be okay and why I'm so proud to serve as your mayor. So thank you very much for being here this morning.